friend of mine told me that because of certain sin which i cannot tell you publicly and his life was tied up and he became financially down he became sickly and his daughter got through a lot of problem and the lord showed him a vision in which he was tied up and like hang hunch back and tara like this is becoming and then that real friend of mine is standing next and jesus was shown and jesus is standing there and tells this man who is going down not able to walk being tied up all the bones are dried up jesus says come the real person the other side says jesus can't you know, see this man is suffering he is dying he is not able to walk and you are calling him how can we will he come you come jesus says he doesn't bother about what that another guy says he says come come this man is i'm dying i am not able to move if i take a step it is paining me jesus doesn't care about that he says you want healing come come that man says he is tied up jesus can't you see do you have eyes this man is tied up in his sin how will he come to you, you please you come jesus doesn't bother he says come that's all then this man says in my vision i saw this man like tied up slowly got up and take the pain and slowly slowly he took the steps and when this man in reached jesus suddenly he saw something something happened this man became one with jesus and afterwards he is looking one side this fellow is looking like that fellow other side he is look like jesus whether he is jesus or that fellow both became merged one and that darkness that surrounded a second disappeared focus on your god overcoming sin means focusing on your light god has never told you i will follow you he has only said you follow me take up whatever is your cross and follow me i will lead you he never said i will come to you and i will follow you wherever you go no in the book of song of songs chapter 5 having lost everything solomon as he was lying he saw a vision which he writes he is looking like a lady solomon is looking like a lady and this lady is lying on the cot and the lord who loves her loves solomon is standing on uh, outside and knocking open the door open the door my beloved i created you for life i created for my joy i created to possess all that i have open the door then solomon says who is acting like a lady who has become like a lady she gets up and ah oh, oh, the previous night the send what she has used is keeps her for some more time the beloved is knocking at the door my 
down please come open the door snow is falling i cannot stand here for long then i caught up this lady says i caught up then i realized my god i have changed my clothes i have put my nighty how will i change my clothes now what clothes i will put outside the beloved is knocking hello my darling please open the door and i thought for a minute okay okay nighty okay after all he is my beloved only no i will go and open then suddenly i saw no chapel near me oh i have washed my feet if i put my feet down it will become dirty by the time my beloved went away the moment i realize i lose something only then i go after it that is human nature when my husband when my wife they are with me alive i don't understand their value when the husband dies even a fellow on the street even the pune in the office they try to catch me they think that i am a body we don't understand the value of each other while we are alive we don't appreciate each other and bring the presence of the spirit into our family because god blesses us with what he has given to us one day a servant of god said as he was preaching and going suddenly he saw a young beautiful girl going and satan filled his mind with a kind of lust he was feeling like walking fast to go behind and touch her then he heard the holy spirit saying my son you are not meant to defile yourself and others that is not your call i am in you to enrich you and to enrich others you are not meant to destroy she is a married woman maybe she likes your preaching she likes your sermon it doesn't mean you can take a decide divide her family and lead her to sin do you know what i have said to you god reminded him of luke chapter 17 verse 2 if you become an obstacle for another to fall in sin it is better to tie a milestone on your neck and throw you into the deep sea that better i will leave you the servant of god told me i got shock my god is telling me i have trusted you and gave you the gifts and not bothering me if you are doing like this i will leave you the moment i leave you you do not know what the enemy will do to you be careful i got shock of my life father when we move with the spirit the spirit will tell us the consequence of sin yes when now the, the son of solomon now the beloved is gone so he comes and opens the door oh my beloved where did you he is no more found i went out to searching for him outside the world the watchmen were found at night a young lady going with nighty will they leave they destroyed me but i have never found my beloved because of solomon because of his sin the kingdom what he gave it to him was divided into two god said the terror of god came to him when god's love came upon him god said i will give you all that what you even you have not asked i will give you wisdom all that 
But when the terror of God came, God said, your kingdom is divided. And be not because of you stupid fellow Solomon, because of your father, I told him, gave him the promise that his kingdom, Messiah will be born in his kingdom. So I give him only two tribes for your son, the tribe of Judah and the tribe of Benjamin. And the rest of the ten tribes will be given to your servant. Your servant will kill your son. Do you know what is the power of your sin? Do you think God gave you beauty to play with? God gave money as you do whatever you wish to. The terror of God came upon him. And that lasted till the end. The ten nations became Israel. And that was divided into small, small pieces. And these little two tribes remained as Judah. One man's sin. 